LED dream. These are so good. So, so very, very yummy. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sarah Anderson. Did you know your food has more intense flavor when you dehydrate it? I had no idea. Food is even tasting better, it's lasting longer, and now you can dehydrate at a really affordable price. We have the lowest price ever on our Dash Smart Store 240 watt food dehydrator. This is one of the most affordable dehydrators on the market and you are gonna get layers and layers, all these great levels of food dehydration systems for just $44.95. We took $15 off the price. And if you've always wanted to try dehydrating your food, if you love beef jerky, if you love dried fruit, if you like to dry your meat, if you like to dry food so it lasts even longer, or maybe you're just buying in bulk and wanna make sure that you're getting the most out of your money at those big box stores, then try dehydrating. We have the we have the black. We have five flex pays for this hour only. So uh, if you're the early bird, you do get to uh, get the worm today and you get the venison and the fish and the salmon and the citrus and even strawberries. Strawberries taste better. The food flavor is more intense when you dehydrate it and it lasts forever. So if you've always wanted to try dehydrating your food, today is the day we're going to learn all about this huge trend that has kind of like gone viral, oh, right, Kelly D. Dream? I mean, so there are like blogs about dehydrating your food. Yeah. There are articles about what kind of recipes and yep. nutrition, because you get to lock in the nutrition. Well, when so you what you're doing your is you're just removing the moisture. So and we've been dehydrating um, as a society for thousands of years, right? It was like the original form of preserving. Now we're doing it because we want to eat healthier. We want to be able to do our own jerky that doesn't have so much added sodium and that doesn't cost fifteen dollars a baggie. And all you do is get your own meat, you do your own rub, your own marinade, and then you put it in overnight. And by the time you wake up, you have the most beautiful homemade jerky. It is a must have for anybody that's a hunter or a fisherman, anybody that's an outdoorsman, right? Because you get maybe a deer or quail or salmon or whatever you're hunting. And then what are you going to do with the meat? If you have all that leftover meat, <laughs> our producer said one of his family members like ships it across the country, you know, in a freeze. It's like, it's very cumbersome when you have that much meat, but you want to feed your family mm -hmm. healthy, unprocessed mm. foods. Now you remove the moisture, but up until now it was so expensive and you had to buy the big giant dehydrators, right? Most of us don't need a commercial size dehydrator and we most of us don't want to spend two hundred dollars this is regular beef jerky we have turkey jerky smothered in maple syrup excuse me bacon jerky smothered Hello. in maple syrup good we morning have bison. Turkey, bacon. i know we have bison <laughs> jerky we have um turkey jerky and chicken jerky a lot of people do turkey jerky yeah turkey jerky and chicken jerky for their pets such a thing turkey jerky chicken jerky mm. for your pets and then we have <laughs> salmon jerky so but you could do any fish okay and you, and you buy the dried salmon you know when you from Alaska and you ship mm -hmm. it down and it's so delicious right. you can do it yourself I mean you really can do these things yourself now you're talking you know under $50 let alone under $100 for a dehydrator do all these things yourself because when you remove just the water that's all you're removing you don't remove any nutrition mm. so you get a beautiful more intense flavor wouldn't you agree I had I had no idea I know you told me I you just, were looking it up and it was yeah, like shocking I was like, so what's the big deal with dehydrating your food I had I had no idea yeah it's so healthy though but this has become one of the the newest hottest things that moms are doing everywhere for healthier snacks mm -hmm. for their kids if you do have extra or food that you buy on sale or on bulk yeah. or maybe you have an orchard it. or an orchard or you've yep. got an apple tree in the backyard and you're thinking I've got you know six bushels of apples how do I make them last yeah. well I don't know about you, but canning sounds kind of intimidating. Yeah, dehydrated. You I get feel like snacks. I need a lot of supplies. I mean, a dehydrated apple chip would last you six months. I mean, honestly, when would you get an apple that would last six months in your pantry or, you and know? you're not losing any nutrition. You're not losing any nutrition. And for example, if you buy like the prepackaged jerkies, mm. you're talking, just in this one here, when we're talking sodium, 670 milligrams of sodium. If you're limiting your sodium or you're just conscientious of it, this is outrageous. You don't have to add any extra sodium or any extra sugars. So just as another example, when we go to the health food store, a lot of us buy the pre-done pineapple. We think this is a nice, healthy snack. And typically it would be, right? A dehydrated pineapple, what a great snack. All right, turn the thing over. 31 grams of sugar in a serving. Not in this bag, in a serving. That's this much sugar. 
in one serving of dried pineapple if you wow. purchase it. They have to do that. They think customers want it very, very sweet, and they also have to add preservatives. Now, guess how much added sugar in here? Zero grams. Just a sliced really? pineapple, put in my dehydrator overnight, and now I have pineapple leather. And it is so tasty. I have to try one of these. Because when you remove moisture and when you remove water, water, you know, mutes the flavor of our food, right? It waters okay. it down. I mean, no pun intended, but it waters down the flavors. When you remove the water, <gasps> You that get this so... burst of intense, beautiful, you know, it's like it hits your taste buds and your that taste buds all so... smile. Mm, Isn't mm. that delicious? The same with the strawberries. This tastes like candy to my three-year-old. He thinks this is candy. He'll ask me, can I have some candy? And I hand him some dehydrated strawberries. I always have dehydrated really? strawberries because they last months in my pantry okay, when I, I remove the moisture. Okay, have to give you a quick update, everybody. We've already had 200 of you say yes. We have uh, fewer than 700 now for the entire presentation. That's all we have. This is the lowest price we've ever offered on a food dehydrator. And this is Dash, one of our number one best-selling kitchen brands. It's getting rave reviews online. Mm -hmm. And the five flex phase, those are just for this hour. This Plus is a you're good saving one. on shipping and handling so you're saving what $15 off the price and then on shipping and handling you're saving a uh a total $22. I mean, you would never find a dehydrator what, that's under $100. Fruit leather. So if you've ever <gasps> bought the little rolly things, you yes. know, and you think they contain some fruit, they might contain a little bit of fruit, pur fruit puree as the very last ingredient. But they also have um, lots and lots of sugar. The very first um, uh, ingredient I can't pronounce, but the second ingredient is sugar. <laughs> sugar. And then mal maltodextrin, No wonder those syrup. taste so good. So this, yeah, it tastes good, but it's not good for you. No. Now, all you have to do is take any fruit, whether it's strawberry, mango, banana, and mix it with applesauce because applesauce has the pectin and you get this wow. beautiful fruit leather. And if you like the little rolly uh, texture, roll it up, my friends. I mean, d look what you can do for the kids. Do their own healthy roll, you know, rolls, fruit no. rolls. Well, what did you say to put in it? A little bit of apple pectin. A little bit of applesauce, which gives you the pectin, which will give it that little stick, bit of sticky. Applesauce and fruit. And any fruit, whether it's a mango or some kiwi or strawberry. And I that's mean, all you need. That's all you need. You could even go crazy and add some spinach or some kale just for, for beautiful, you know, ingredients to, to hide, to disguise that into there. That is so good. Isn't that amazing? I eat and this up texture, before the shows and I get in trouble. And the flavor <laughs> rivals any of those expensive fruit leathers, which you have to buy individually packaged mm -hmm. for a dollar, two dollars, three dollars a pop. And you have all that plastic waste. That's absolutely right. Okay. This is great because this is a gluten-free granola that we made ourselves. You can see it's the corn chips. You can add anything, though. We have our own nuts. We have our own little cranberry raisins that we did. We have some sunflower seeds. You guys can do anything. It's like anything. a little snack mix? Yeah, it's a little snack mix. A little granola, gluten-free snack mix. That is delicious. When you remove the moisture, even from things like nuts and potato chips, you get this crunch like it's a fresh popcorn almost, right? Yeah. It's a beautiful way to eat, right? And most people have sort of avoided dehydrating because... I'm not kidding you when I say this. If you've ever looked at dehydrators, they're literally this big. They wouldn't fit under anybody's counter, and they yeah. are over $100, most of them over $200. Now mm -hmm. Dash decided to bring this accessible to you, make it smaller, right, so the okay. footprint can easily go under the counter. The size of a dinner plate. Right, the size of it, yeah, the exactly. The size Good point. of a dinner plate, and you have, what, five tiers? Five tiers that can five. go. So you can dehydrate five levels of fruits, of veggies, of nuts, of meat, of jerky, of fish, chicken, salmon, sun-dried tomatoes, whatever it is that you're doing, making your own fruit leather, five tiers. This is going to be the most fun, easy way to make snacks for your family, to preserve the food that you already have in your backyard. Yep. What about, you know, when all of a sudden the tomatoes... The farmer's market. Oh, yeah, when all you your know, tomatoes, all your tomatoes come in all at the same time, <laughs> like, like, everybody's eating tomatoes. The other 11 <laughs> months out of the year. Uh, if you're on the phones, we have 400 of you that can get in on our food dehydrator. I love this idea because... And look at the, your own dehydrated... I yeah, I love to eat. These are your own sun-dried tomatoes, right? So we've dried them in the dehydrator. We added our own seasonings. I do a tiny bit of olive oil and cilantro. Maybe you buy, you know, sun-dried tomatoes in the oils and you, they're too, you know, they have too much salt or they have too much this or that for you. You don't care for the spices that the manufacturer uses. You can put your own basil. You know, we've got some spray herbs coming up. Spray herbs would be great on your tomatoes or even your, um, your, uh, 
zucchini chips, you know, just whatever your favorite spices, seasonings, and herbs, and all how, you have to do is add it. How long do dehydrated foods last? Uh, oh, they last months. I mean, you would never months, keep a right? tomato for months. I mean, I've had no. some dehydrated strawberries for two, three months before. As a little snack, I put them in little mason jars, and then I give them out you to my You don't have to refrigerate it either, no, right? No, After you pantry, dehydrate it? Pantry. You put it in your pantry. You what try would it be these. like to go to your pantry and see all this dehydrated food that... You know, hey, if it tides you over during, you know, if there's a, a blackout, you have a power outage, you have a hurricane, you know, anything that sort of keeps you locked inside. I like the idea that it sort of gives you peace of mind, too. Yeah, absolutely. So if you get a good BOGO deal or you are growing your own vegetables, what do you do with the remaining stuff? You want those deals, right? This is salt and vinegar zucchini chips. I could eat an entire bag of salt and vinegar potato chips, but I don't because it's not good for my waistline, right? I want to be able to fit into the clothes I own, but I can do zucchini chips or kale chips. Listen to this crunch I gotta do you hear that crunch? Oh, a little nutritional these. yeast uh, this is my little tip okay. and secret the kale chips if you hate kale you might even like kale chips because that's good isn't that good a little nutritional yeast mm -hmm. or you could do a little sea salt and vinegar you could do a little soy sauce is great on kale um, chips any spices, Amazing. any flavors, barbecue salt, barbecue seasoning, if you want like barbecue chips, but substitute this once a week for a bag of potato chips or a bag of cheese doodles. And you'll notice right away, you get the energy from the mm -hmm. kale and now you're eating your vegetables again, right? So okay, we have about uh, 300 or so to go around. We both ha have, we still have the red and the black. Look at the beets. Lowest price ever on our food dehydrator from Dash. So you could do beets. You could do beet chips. Anything that's a vegetable or a fruit, you can turn into a chip. We have beet chips here but oh sorry oh. right down front we've <laughs> don't done get between <laughs> me and my kale chips <laughs> mm. that's cute we have okra we've done dehydrated okra we've done dehydrated broccoli down here and you can see these look you know these have a spice or a seasoning on them this one people think i'm crazy for but i'm just gonna throw it out there and i just okay. insisted that we do it because it is a carb-free pizza crust or a carb-free flatbread crust right so it's just made with zucchini and some walnuts some chia seed all ground up into a blender because i love pizza but i don't love carbs so i don't mm -hmm. eat a lot of breads and this i can actually take and create my own little like personal pizza by adding a little red sauce a little basil and a little cheese and it's carb Carb, almost carb free. I mean, vegetables have some complex sure. carbs, but you that can do good. fun things like that, right? You could even take this and dip it in the cheese dip. You know, if you're doing no carbs, you don't want to eat the crackers or the pretzels, dip this in like the cheese dip or the spinach dip during a party and you're, you're eating wow. vegetables and nuts. You know, it's easier to eat dried kale than it is to sit down and eat a bowl of kale. <laughs> kale. I mean, you'll be, you'll be chewing yeah. like a rabbit yeah. for hours. Yeah, you'll that's be, a good point. <laughs> like it, oh, it's going to take me a long time to yeah. get through this kale salad, but when they're dry, yeah. everything is crunchy, everything is crispy, and it's more intense flavor. I, yeah, you I gotta have no it. idea. So if you're getting it just for the um, beef jerkies to do like the venison or the, or the beef or the chicken or the turkey, mm -hmm. use it for that most of the time, but every once in a while, try these different things. You'll see that you're really going to start to love them like instead of croutons you can dehydrate some cashews or almonds you get that crunch on your salad but you don't have to have the carbs hmm. or you know the white flowers that come with eating croutons um, these are really good this is just you can see what it is it's just corn kernels and those are dehydrated corn kernels really really good snack if you add a little sea salt or maybe like a little bit of a the spray basil that's coming up next the spray cilantro little bit of spices goes a long way with dehydrating the these are like the little dehydrated soybeans, the edamame. Yes. Aren't those good? You could do a little soy sauce with that, a little sea salt. And then this is um, called Ramajan. It's actually a Parmesan that's dairy free. So if you have anybody that's lactose intolerant or can't do cheeses, there's a lot of recipes that include mostly pine nuts um, that can actually taste like a little bit of a cheese, but it's not actually cheese. So if there's anybody in your family with some dietary restrictions, like maybe they're gluten-free or they're right. lactose intolerant, there's a lot of really great recipes mm -hmm. online with dehydrating that you can create for them. Uh, final call, black or red, lowest price we've ever offered on the Dash Food Dehydrator. This makes it so easy and so affordable. If you think about the money you're gonna save, because we love to buy strawberries when they're in season. We love sure. to buy blueberries when they're on sale. We love it when the tomatoes come out of the garden 
garden and we want to maximize that incredible, you know, windfall of tomatoes. Maybe you love buying everything at the farmer's market. Yep. Could you dry your herbs? Oh, could you yes. preserve those? Yes. I and love then, the idea of herbs because many of us have an herb garden. Because those are expensive and they never last more than a few days. Well, I have an herb garden and for some reason it like explodes certain times and I'm like, I could never eat that much cilantro. I could never eat that much basil. And there's only so many people around me that want me to deliver them yeah. fresh cilantro, that type of thing. So I dehydrate it and now I have it for later. This one has changed my world. This is dehydrated stevia. So I don't have to buy the little stevia packets. It's an all natural sweetener. You can actually just dip this in your tea or you can grind it into a blender to actually get the, the um, granules, yeah, and get the sweetness. But look at how beautiful. So that stevia, this is parsley. This could be cilantro or basil, you guys. And then this one is a cool idea real fast. Baby showers, you know, funeral, oh, yeah, or like just like a if you're, high school corsage. If you're a crafty person, yeah, and then if you add a little essential your, oil to it, you get your own potpourri. How about that? You yeah. are getting the recipes for inspiration. There's also like a thousand ideas on the web. I had fun last night, just sort of browsing. Isn't it crazy? So now you're a dehydrator. You don't have to be a cook. You don't have to be a chef. You don't have to be a culinary expert.